In this video, I want to talk about how generative AI tools can lighten your workload for learning design and digital content development. So let's say you want to design a blended learning experience. Okay, so the first thing you do when you go to ChatGTP is you ask it to take the role of something, a designer, a marketer, whatever it may be. In this case, it's an expert learning designer or instructional designer or an educator, but we just want to narrow the parameters slightly um, to focus it in more accurately on what we want it to do. And the next thing is we're going to ask it to write a course description for a postgraduate level course on the topic of interest. In this case, it's going to be technology enhanced learning. So again, we're focusing the program um, more acutely on what we want it to do. So it starts developing a very nice um, course description here and it outlines a range of topics that you might want to include and it gives some quite nice detail, I think, um, quite quickly here. Okay, so the next step is to focus it even further. I want it to develop some course level learning outcomes and I'm going to give it um, more specific instruction. So I'm going to say, I want you to use Bloom's revised taxonomy other taxonomies are available, of course, but again, this is just to focus it further. And I'm going to say generate four to five course level learning outcomes that show higher order thinking. So the thought here is that we're giving it a specific taxonomy. I actually probably want three to four course level learning outcomes, but I asked for four to five to give me options as to which ones I take. And because it's course level, I just want to ensure that it's measuring higher order thinking. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it generates an outcome there and it explains you know, where it's sitting in relation to Bloom's revised taxonomy. And just generally looking at what it's coming up with here, they all look um, potentially useful. Obviously you would need to um, tweak them um, and that's with any of this content, you don't really wanna copy and paste it into your subject outline, for example, um, or into your syllabus, but you can use it as a starting point that you would tweak um, to your, your specific needs. Okay, so then the next step is I've got these course level learning outcomes. Now I want to align um, creative assessments, and specifically creative summative assessments to these learning outcomes. So I'm asking it to give me some ideas of what I could do um, from the ass assessment perspective to achieve these course level learning outcomes. And again, it's given me some quite nice ideas there. So now I'm going to take one of these course level outcomes and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it down here. And I'm going to say the learning outcome one, and just to remind it what it is, using Bloom's revised taxonomy again, I want you to generate three learning objectives at the session level. So I've got this course level outcome. Now I'm thinking about what will happen at the session level. Um, and I can see it's not quite understood what I've asked here. Um, I think it's going to produce yeah, three sessions and a couple of objectives within each session. So the way I phrased that uh, was probably not correct or not fully understood by the, the program, but it is generating these session level learning objectives that are linked to my course level outcomes. So even though it's not exactly what I was looking for here, it's still giving me something useful that I can take. Okay, so now I've got these session level learning objectives. I'm thinking about what formative assessments or assessment for learning can I have in my sessions to show me that these objectives are being met. And again, it's generated some ideas there. And I'm interested, it's talking about design principles in, the, in these. So I'm asking it, can you describe one of these design principles? Um, because now I'm thinking about what content goes into my course to help me meet these objectives that ultimately help me meet the learning outcomes and support the students in the assessments of the course. 
Okay, so it's identified one of these um, principles, which is learner-centered design. And I'm going to take that um, because at some point in my course, then students are going to have to know what these design principles are. In this case, learner-centered design. So now I'm thinking about the content that's going to support the achievement of these outcomes. So I'm going to ask it to create a video script to introduce this concept of learner-centered design. And again, it could be any concept within your course that you ask it to do this for. And it's going to generate a video script there. It's got the title. It's giving me ideas of what visuals um, would be in the video. And it's giving me a narrator script that I would follow. So that's basically, in a very short space of time, it's given me a nice um, starting point, a nice outline of the course design. So it's got the course level learning outcomes. It's linked it to appropriate um, creative summative assessments. It's developed some session level learning objectives. It's given me some assessment for learning or formative assessment ideas. And it's giving me uh, ideas for um, content in, in the course in the form of a video script that introduces some course concept. Now, I'm going to take that a little step further by copying the script. I'm just going to paste it in Word here. And I'm going to use an additional tool. So we've been using ChatGPT. I'm going to use a tool called Lumen5 and I can create a video very quickly and by choosing a template and I'm going to paste this script. So I'm going to just select all, copy and paste that. And then this software is going to generate the images that are related to this script. So this is the free version. So there's a watermark in the background, but you get the idea. So just very quickly and easily a video is generated related to this script. I can quickly, you know, swap things in the design. I can add background music, but if I preview it, you can see that there's a video here and all it needs now is for me to record my voice over the top um, using the narration part of the script. Okay, so this was a quick overview of how generative AI tools can lighten your workload when it comes to your learning design approach and digital content development for blended learning experiences. I hope you found it useful.